Cialis, also known as tadalafil, is a medication used to treat erectile dysfunction ED and pulmonary arterial hypertension. It belongs to a class of drugs called phosphodiesterase type 5 inhibitors, which work by increasing blood flow to certain areas of the body. In this video, we will provide an in-depth analysis of the pharmacology of Cialis, including how it was discovered, why it is used, how it works, potential side effects, dosage, and potential interactions with drugs and food. So, let's get started. Tadalafil the active ingredient in Cialis was discovered by pharmaceutical Ali Lilly and Company in the early 1990s. Originally, it was being developed as a treatment for angina. During clinical trials, researchers observed that tadalafil had a significant effect on erectile function in the study participants. This led to further investigation and development of tadalafil as a treatment for erectile dysfunction ED which was eventually approved by the United States Food and Drug Administration, FDA, in 2003. Since then, Cialis has become a popular and effective treatment for erectile dysfunction as well as for the treatment of pulmonary arterial hypertension. It is available in various dosages and is often prescribed by healthcare providers for men who are unable to achieve or maintain an erection sufficient for sexual activity. Before understanding how Cialis works, First, we need to take a look on what exactly happens in erectile dysfunction. During sexual stimulation, nitric oxide is released in the penis, which signals the brain to release certain chemicals called cyclic guanosine monophosphate, CGMP, in the blood vessels of the penis. CGMP is a molecule that helps to relax the smooth muscles in the walls of the blood vessels, allowing them to widen and increase blood flow. This increased blood flow results in erection. In men with erectile dysfunction, this process is disrupted by an enzyme called phosphodiesterase type 5, leading to difficulties achieving or maintaining an erection. PDE5 breaks down CGMP too quickly, which reduces the amount of CGMP available to dilate the blood vessels and maintain an erection. Tadalafil works by blocking the action of PDE5 which allows more CGMP to accumulate in the blood vessels of the penis. This increased CGMP concentration leads to relaxation and increased blood flow, which helps to achieve and maintain an erection during sexual activity. Before taking Cialis, it's important to understand the potential side effects and drug interactions. Some of the most common side effects of Cialis include headache, back pain, muscle aches, flushing, and indigestion. However, these side effects are usually mild and temporary. It's important to note that Cialis should not be taken by individuals with certain medical conditions, particularly those with heart problems. It's also important to avoid alcohol when taking Cialis, as it can increase the risk of side effects. Additionally, Cialis can interact with certain medications, particularly those used to treat high blood pressure or prostate conditions. It's also important to avoid taking Cialis with nitrates, such as nitroglycerin, as this can lead to a dangerous drop in blood pressure. Food can also interact with Cialis. High-fat meals can reduce the effectiveness of the medication, so it's recommended to avoid such meals when taking Cialis. The recommended dosage of Cialis varies depending on the individual and their medical history. It's important to consult with a healthcare provider to determine the appropriate dosage and frequency of use. And that's the pharmacology of Cialis. If you have any questions about the medication, or if you think it might be right for you, be sure to speak with your healthcare provider. Thanks for watching.